Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you can record your computer screen using an app that many of you probably already have, Zoom, as in Zoom video conferencing. And it's mainly known as a video conferencing tool, but you can also use it as a screen recorder. And it turns out it's actually a pretty good screen recorder. You could record a window, you could record your entire desktop, and it also has a few tricks up its sleeve. For example, you can include your webcam image, and Zoom does an awesome job at including virtual backgrounds as part of your webcam image. Not only that, you can also annotate the screen. As you're recording, you can circle things, you could add stickers, you could add text, uh, lots of different capabilities. You could also pause your recording, take a sip of water, and then resume your recording. And probably the thing I like the best about this is it's entirely free for a pretty feature-rich screen recorder. All right, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you first off step-by-step -step how you could get Zoom, and then I'll show you how you could use it as a screen recorder. All right, let's jump on the PC. Here I am on my PC, and to get Zoom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate to the website, zoom.us. Once you land on this website, if you don't already have a Zoom account, what you could do is you could sign up, it's entirely for free. In fact, you could use a Google account to sign in, you could set up a Zoom account to sign in. It's pretty easy. Once you sign up, what you're gonna need to do is Zoom is gonna have you download the Zoom app. I'd recommend going ahead and doing that. I've already downloaded the Zoom app though, so I'm not gonna run through those steps, but start here if you haven't done that yet. All right, here I have the Zoom app open, and to screen record using Zoom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on New Meeting. Now, you might think this is a little confusing because why would you have a meeting to screen record? Just follow along, it'll work. Uh, so what we could do here is I've launched, I've, I've clicked in to create a Zoom meeting. You see all this information like a meeting topic, the host, the password, all this other information that you would typically use to meet with others in Zoom, but for screen recording, you could simply ignore all of that. So what we're gonna do to screen record is, first off, we wanna click on share screen. You could click here or you could click down below on share screen. I'll go ahead and click down below. This opens up a prompt uh, asking me what I want to share. Now the way to think of this is, for your screen recording, you have to figure out, well, what do you want to screen record? Do you want to record your entire screen, in which case you click screen? Do you want to record, say, a specific window, like your browser window? Whatever you want to record, that's what you select as the item that you want to share. In this case, I want to share my browser window, so I'm going to go ahead and select this. Now you have a few options at the bottom, and these are also pretty important if you want to record your screen. If you want it to include your computer sound, let's say for example that you want to record a video that you have on your computer, in that case you want to make sure that you include your computer sound. I'm going to go ahead and check this. Now they also have this option down here that says optimize screen sharing for video click. Now if you're recording your computer screen and you're just going to record your desktop, maybe an application like Word or Excel, uh, you don't need to select this. However, let's say you're gonna be playing a game. Yes, you can even use Zoom to record a game. Probably not the best app, but it does work. Uh, or let's say that you wanna record a video clip. In any of those cases, go ahead and check this optimize screen sharing for a video clip. You'll get smoother screen recording by using that. But in this case, I'm just gonna record my browser window, so I'm not going to check this button. And so all of that looks good, and I'm gonna click on share. So what it's doing now is it's simply sharing my screen. No one's in my meeting, so no one's seeing me share the screen. But what I wanna do now is I want to record this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna hover over this uh, bar that appears from Zoom. And now what I could do is over on the right-hand side, I see the ellipses here, or the three dots, and more. This is the More menu. If I hover over that, I see an option here that says Record. You typically use this in Zoom if you wanna record a meeting, but in this case, we're gonna use it to record our screen. One thing to call out, if you end up using this a lot, you might wanna remember the shortcut key. It's the Alt key on your keyboard and the R key, R is in record. You press those keys simultaneously and that will also kick off a recording. One thing to also note, if for whatever reason you went through the setup screen and then you decide, hey, actually I wanna record a video, you still have the option to check it here. Same with share computer sound. You could also toggle that on even once you're within a meeting. All right, so why don't we kick off the recording? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on record and my screen is now recording. 
Now, one thing to call out, you see this big bar here with Zoom. None of this is being recorded. So if you're hovering over and let's say you're fumbling through the menu, trying to find the setting that you're looking for, keep in mind, none of this will be recorded. So no one's gonna judge you based on how long it takes to find one of these options as you're recording. All right, so the recording is in progress and I figure I need some good content to record. So I'm gonna jump over to the best content I could think of and yes, that's my YouTube page. Uh, joking aside, here I'm on my YouTube page. I could scroll up and down, I could click on different pivots. Uh, and you'll see how the screen recording is picking all of this up. Now, some of the things I could also do as part of the screen recording, so I'm gonna go up here and hover over. I'm gonna start my video, and this will bring my webcam image into Zoom, and you see that I, I'm in space right now. I have a virtual background set up. If I click over this carrot right here on the top bar, what I can do is right here, I could choose a virtual background in Zoom, and hey, I'm in space, but I don't have an astronaut's outfit on, so I probably have no oxygen right now. Why don't we get some air here? I'm gonna to go to San Francisco in front of the Golden Gate Bridge, or maybe I want some grass. Whatever I want my background to be, I could go ahead and select that. But the nice thing here as part of my screen recording, it's including this webcam image with the virtual background. So kind of neat that I get that in the screen recorder. I'm gonna go up again now and let me hover over and some other tools that I could use as part of my screen recording, I also have the ability to annotate my screen. So let me go ahead and click on that and let's see what I can do with that. Um, so first off, I could draw. So, hey, first off, you know, this is a really great video. You should probably go check that out. And, you know, on the topic of good videos, actually, what, all of these are pretty good. So maybe you should check out all of those. I'll draw an arrow here. Uh, so you could annotate the screen in whichever way. And let me just throw in a stamp here. You know, there's this big subscribe button here. Why don't you click on that? Uh, that way you get a notification anytime new content comes out. Um, so anyway, you can annotate your screen all you want and uh, you, you get all the full functionality of that right here as part of your screen recording. Now, let's say that I need to take a, a quick drink here. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's pause the recording and I'll just get my bottle of water here. Of course, I wouldn't wanna pick that up in my screen recording. So now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna go ahead now and resume recording. And so now my screen recording is running again. Uh, so these are all the main capabilities that I have as part of my screen recording. Once I'm done recording, what I could do is I click on this more menu. And then once again, I could use the same shortcut key again, the Alt key and the R key, and that'll toggle the recording off. Similarly with pause recording, there's also a shortcut key for that. I could press the Alt key and the P key at the same time to pause. And then I simply press that combination again, and then that will resume the recording. So nice shortcut keys, especially when you're recording, it's nice to have those uh, at hand so you could quickly take that action. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's stop the recording now. And now that I've stopped my recording, I'm also gonna just stop sharing my screen. And here I am, big on the webcam again. Uh, but I finished my screen recording, so I'm gonna click on end, and then I'm gonna end the meeting for all. Really, when I end for all, I was the only one in the meeting. Once I exit the meeting, Zoom will pop up a prompt telling me that it's converting my meeting recording. So this whole time it's been recording uh, what I've been doing and now it just has to prep the files for me. So we'll just hang out for a moment and let it run. All right, once the conversion finishes and your video file is ready to go, Zoom automatically opens up File Explorer. It's so nice of Zoom to do that. And within this folder, let me blow this up just a little bit so you can see this better. What you'll see is it's in Documents under Zoom, and then what it'll do is it'll create a folder with the date, the time, and then the name of the meeting. This name was simply Kevin Stratford's Zoom meeting. Now within this folder, some of the things that you'll see, you have three different files. The first one here, this is the audio track, but really the only one we care about is this last one, a Zoom underscore zero. This is an MP4 file, uh, so it's very versatile. You could upload this to YouTube, you could upload it to Facebook, wherever you wanna share this. Uh, most places accept an MP4. And let's go ahead and click on this and see how it looks. All right, well, here's the video clip, and you can see that it captured my screen just as I would expect it to. It also captured my uh, voice, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the voice for a moment. Is being recorded, so if you're hovering over, and let's say you're fumbling through 
So there it got my voice. And then as I go along here too, you'll notice there's this black bar on the right hand side. What it does is that's where my webcam image will show up. Uh, unfortunately, it's not like typical YouTube videos where it overlays the content and it's a little square in the, say the bottom corner, um, but it's not bad. It's a very easy way to get your webcam in and it doesn't disrupt the content. Uh, and then as I scroll along here, you'll see my annotations showing up on the screen. So it actually works as a pretty nice screen recorder. All right, well, this was just a quick example of how you could use Zoom to record your computer screen. If you found this helpful and you now know how to record your computer screen using Zoom, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you want to see me cover any other content in the future, maybe you have some burning tech questions, leave a comment down below and I'll add them to my list of videos to create in the future. Anyway, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.